Well, hey guys, my name is Robert, family pastor here at Calvary, and I have your word for the day today. For the last couple weeks, we've been going through the book of 1 John, and I love this book because John is so direct and blunt in this letter that he writes. And, and in a way, the book of 1 John is kind of like that friend that's brutally honest with you. You know you need it, but you don't always love to hear what he has to say. You know, it's that friend that tells you that you're being stupid or that you look like a hot mess. It's never pleasant, but you're always incredibly thankful for it. And John continues kind of this direct, you know, honesty in today's section. So kind of have two big things I want to share with you. It's very direct with what we need to be doing if we're followers of Jesus, but then also give us a lot of encouragement. So I'm going to break this up in kind of two uh, thought patterns here. So I'm going to read uh, the first few verses of 1 John chapter 5, and it says this. He says, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. See, he's he's getting at a couple of things here, but, but really he's saying if we say that we love God, that means we have to love other people. It's that blunt connection where he's saying, This has to exist in our life if we say that we are followers of Jesus. But with that, he he drops that thought in at the end that the commands of God are not burdensome. And I love that because because maybe you felt in a way that the the instructions, the commands, the the path that God is calling you to live your life on is is a a big task. It's, It's a burden that you have to carry. But he's telling us here that that's not the case. And Jesus articulated this in many ways, a lot of the, the arguments, intentions, and disagreements that Jesus had with the Pharisees were because they made the commands of God a burden to the people. You know, even little things like the command to not work, to, to take a Sabbath, you know, one day of the week, they made into just this arduous reality for the people of that day. There were multiple categories of work and how far you could leave the house and what you could and couldn't do. It was a burden. And Jesus said that the commands of God should not be a burden. In fact, he says we could summarize all, you know, over 600 of those Old Testament laws. We could take those down to two. He says, first, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And he said, second, love your neighbor as yourself. He says all the law depends on these two things. And so Jesus says that the, the command should not be a burden, but should be something that we can live out on a regular basis. And John here says that if we want to, to follow God and love him, it means we need to love other people. So today, I want to challenge you with that. Find a way to really express love towards someone else. Find a way to serve them, to sacrifice for them, to go out of your way to make a difference in someone's life. And and there's a million ways that you can do that. So I'm not going to give you a specific way to do that, but find a way to put other people's needs ahead of your own. Uh, I love Philippians as it articulates Jesus' mindset in this, that that even though he was important, he did not consider that importance, but instead he served other people. He, He, in humility, lived with that service mindset. So I want to challenge you with that today. To, to really take that next step of growing in your faith by serving and loving someone uh, and expressing that love. But he, he continues in this section, verse four, he says this. He says, for everyone who has been born of God, hear this, overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God? Man, what an encouraging word for us today. Our world is nuts. Our world is all kinds of stressful and discouraging, at times depressing and defeating. And maybe you're in a place where it's like, man, I've got a a mountain in front of me, whatever that looks like for you. Here, John here, he says, who has overcome the world? Jesus. And, And who continues to overcome the world? His people. If you believe in Jesus, know that that Jesus wins the victory. You can overcome whatever difficulty, whatever thing you're facing by trusting and walking with Jesus. He's going to give you the strength to to endure that. He's going to give you the wisdom to grow through the difficulties you're living in. He's going to help you through that. And ultimately, you're going to see the victory in Jesus, um, whether that's on the short term 
or the long term of knowing that eventually you're with Jesus forever and eternity, rejoicing in a place without pain or suffering or grief. But the people that overcome the world, I love that rhetorical question at the end there of verse 5. John says, who is it that overcomes the world except those who love and follow Jesus? So today I hope that you rest in that good news that if you believe in Jesus and follow him, you can overcome the world but I hope that you also take that blunt instruction that if you say you love God, it means you need to love other people and be serving them. And I hope you take that challenge to, to go out of your way to serve someone today. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.